Hey guys. So the video that I'm about to show you all is actually a mirrored video from YouTube Conspiracy TV channel. This girl is on top of it. She speaks her mind. She is in the truth community, which I highly respect this girl. Go show her some love and go check out her channel. The link will be in the description box. Much love you all. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, guys. What did I, what rabbit hole did I jump into? Um, this Lewis Arthur guy who goes by like five different names. He has quite the history of being on the news and um, seeking attention. And he's not even a veteran. And I was like thinking, you know, he looks like a homeless person trying to, I don't know. <laughs> Well, he is living amongst the homeless all these years. And why? He's not a veteran. He doesn't seem to have a real reason. Besides, his brother was a veteran. <laughs> I mean, it's just like a weak reason. I don't understand. My sister is a veteran. Does that mean I'm going to go jumping in the desert and fighting for a cause that I don't really have a reason to fight for the cause? Like, I don't hear why. And look at his picture in the mug shot down there, <laughs> right here in the corner. He's got brown hair. Is he dyeing his hair? I mean, I got this from another, I mean, in my research, I found a bunch of shit. But I forgot which channel. She was saying that the hair dye they found at the other camps might be for him. <laughs> which, um, if you look at it, could very well be. He might be dyeing his hair dark here because his beard there is like a dark reddish brown. I don't know. It's just weird. Let me just go through all these. Let's go back to like 2013 or 15, something like that. But here. Sometimes, just when you think that you have Hold got on. I'm going to speed this up because I don't want to make this a 50 mile long freaking video. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. Let's go. I don't know if that'll be fast enough. Plan all figured out for your life. God can throw you a curveball that is beyond what you could have ever imagined. Just ask Michael Lewis Arthur Meyer. Yeah, check out that name. name. Check out the name. Michael Lewis Arthur Meyer. Like, why does he need... And then he goes by Lewis Arthur. Like, which was his first name? Which was his last name? Does that give him, like, a choice? So he can use, like, three different first names? Two different middle names? And three different last names? <laughs> with that combination? And he seems to do that. It's really weird. Um, this just screams to me of, you remember that other guy? Um, David H-O-double-G. Uh, you know, I think this guy's infiltrating into all these things because he's the one who founded Veterans on Patrol. Isn't that kind of odd? Where the fuck did he come from? I'm just reporting this shit to you guys. You guys could do what you want with this. He's a little bit fucking shady to me. I wish I never went down here because does it really even fucking matter? We already knew it was kind of fishy. Anyway, here. Let's keep listening. Arthur. No, Arthur, shut up. Arthur, who runs an organization called Walking for the Forgotten, a group Whoa, another one? veteran suicides, was determined to bring awareness. That's another group, Walking for the Forgotten, for veteran suicides? What is his deal? You know, he looks like a veteran. He can pass himself off as one, and it seems to do that. To the plight of veterans Doesn't who commit suicide people. at a rate of 22 veterans a day. Although Arthur and many others insist that number is much higher. Walking for the Forgotten, according to Arthur, is a self-sacrificing organization. Let me see when this is from. The Samaritan law. Arthur says that no money is paid to staff and that all donations oh, get out of here. that the group helps. Arthur, who is not uh, a veteran September himself, 19th, but has a 2015. Brother who served in the military, made a commitment to spend 22 days on the streets of Arizona. See? It was his goal to experience what a particular veteran that he was helping. Usually if you're going to do a cause like this, you're going to be like, you know, my dad died or he got really sick in, you know, Vietnam. Or not Vietnam. He's too too um, old for that, to be a son of a Vietnam veteran. Like, say, World War II or something. I don't know. He looks like he's in his 50s. Uh, anyway. But, you know, or my brother died in the Iraq War or something. Whatever, Afghanistan, but he no such thing. Just he's a veteran. That's not enough to have a cause like this. 
I mean, to do go to this extreme, usually somebody has like a really compelling story when they fight for causes like this, and I'm not hearing about it. Had experience when he retired from the military and found himself homeless, according to Arthur. So believing strongly wait, 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 in his mission to stay out on the streets and even to sleep on the streets at night, wait, giving up the comfort of his own bed, he when he retired from the military and found himself homeless, according to Arthur. So believing strongly in his mission to stay wait, out on the streets and even to sleep on the streets at night, homeless. giving up the comfort of his own bed. Uh, sorry, let's see. It was his goal to experience what a particular veteran that he was helping mm. had experienced when he retired from the military and found himself homeless, according oh. to Arthur. So believing strongly in his mission to stay out on the streets and even to sleep on the streets at night, giving up the comfort of his own bed, he, he began his never had a bed. on August came out of prison. 2015. Arthur began asking people he didn't even know and others like Kelly Ward of the Arizona State Senate to pose next oh, to yeah. his sign. In the oh yeah, look at that, posing with politicians. Ain't that something? American flag he was carrying. He would later post his photos on social media in hopes of spreading mm -hmm. the word to the nation Look at that. about the issue of veteran suicides. Many veterans suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD caused by the trauma get this. experienced while serving in places like Iraq, Afghanistan, and other foreign countries. However, Arthur's life and his plans... Yeah, I think this guy's a plant. For sure. He's, he definitely doesn't... He comes, gives me a vibe of like... Um, Oh my God, I'm so tired of my voice. Um, let's see. He kind of definitely gets the vibe of um, Richie from Boston, you know, the ex-con, totally out for himself. He's enjoying all this drama. I could tell he was like a professional drama queen, king, whatever. <laughs> when I was watching him in the videos, this is something about him. And so that's why I started to look into it a little bit more. And now I wish I hadn't, because now i got to make another freaking video. For bringing awareness to veteran suicides was about to take a sudden change. Arthur had become embedded with homeless veterans, who he had found living on the streets of Phoenix, mm -hmm. Arizona. Arthur had been scheduled to return home after his 22-day commitment home? to live on the streets. To However, prison, you mean? However, the homeless veterans and the other homeless people <laughs> Arthur had met had no place to return to. While living among the homeless and learning more about their problems, Arthur heard that some of the veterans were being harassed and even physically attacked by gangs, especially around the first of the month when disability checks arrived. One night, as Arthur what? was spending time with the homeless veterans in their makeshift camp, a group of men claiming to support the Black Lives Matter movement... Wow, it just gets deeper and deeper and more Arthur. political, Arthur doesn't it? defended himself in the homeless veteran against the attack. The this is weird. The attacker to run away, they yelled that anyone seen carrying the American flag, like Arthur's, would be killed. At that moment, Arthur uh -huh. realized that he needed to do something to help the homeless veterans, because they were not receiving the help they needed from the city. Arthur didn't run. He could have. He also could have said, I've had enough, and headed back to the safety of his own home, but he didn't. Instead, Arthur sounded the alarm and called on all veterans within the sound of his voice so and on weird. social media to bring American flags and to lend their support in protecting the homeless veterans and other homeless on the streets of Phoenix. Arthur wasn't about to let anyone... Oh, it gets crazier, guys. This is nothing. I'm just going to speed up because there's a lot of stories like this. And if you want to listen to it, it's um, Susan Knowles, I guess. I don't know who she is, but... Here, let me go back to my list I saved. Here we go. Here's another story. Get away. September 2015. Phoenix. Oh, let me turn the camera. Look at There he goes again. Oh, he's picking up the trash for the camera. As well as bringing veterans back to their base camp that's closer to 7th Ave and Camelback. Uh, a man that you're seeing uh, right here, his name is Lewis. He is leading the effort here. He's been living as a homeless man for the last 11 days, even though he is not homeless. Last 17 days. Thanks, Lewis, for correcting me. You might not be surprised, like you said, Steve, to learn that they are armed. We see it right here, Don left, uh, oh Eric, because, God. right, the streets out here at this time of night uh, can be dangerous. They haven't had any run-ins. They're not instigating anything, but they are protecting themselves. Again, they're called mm -hmm. Veterans on Patrol, doing their best to help veterans because they say that the government Let's go to the next video. We're talking to some of the people who are being helped as well as the people directly involved, Steve. I'll let it play while I look stories. through my list. Yeah, it's an interesting prospect out there, and it's very mm -hmm. dangerous for veterans indeed. Thanks so much, John. When's this one? This promote one's... what you love. Use Facebook to promote people. It don't have to be oh, veterans. Oh, get away. You can be out there promoting the Cajun Navy right now. You this is... Out there, there's Hold on. Shut up, there. dude. Jeez, he's got such a loud mouth.
This is September 2016. What's he doing here now? I don't know. They're doing awareness for He's wearing the same poncho. From autism to I, cancer. I mean, there's so many needs out there. <laughs> so many people. Find out what your passion is. Then go out and champion that cause. Go out and do something. Who's he talking to? That's when you to? turn from a keyboard commando into a, a keyboard commander. Wait, look at you're, that. You're wait, wait, wait. He's got a dog tag on him. Oh, look at he's really, really playing the role. So weird. You know, you're actually doing it right. Okay. Oh, yeah, here's another one. He's, this one he's showing you, he's like, he says he stays out here in these mountains and sleeps with his dog and puts a bunch of, like, supplies in the cave. He didn't say it was for people. I don't know. I'm confused. Switch Look. Switch this around. Let me turn this faster. In better quality if it's possible. Nope, not possible. Let's go faster because I don't want this video long. Hopefully you understand. That sirens in the background in my only took, uh, climbing in your life, the top of this mountain and not in his video. To get some sleep. Um, I'm feeling a lot better, and um, I'm a lot more centered right now. Uh, there's no place closer than God on top of one of these mountains. That's all I can tell you. I got my uh, sheepdog over there solo. He's been doing a good job. Uh, there's no wild animals up here, but he watches over me when I sleep. Now, sleep I have. I've slept for the past two days, um, all night, all day, only up. He slept for two days, young correct? A few hours. I don't know how Sorry. the video is, but um, we're going to go and... <laughs> I just console. don't think this guy's we'll real. Guys one of our homes away from our homes. No way. Sometimes you just need to get away. So, no, wait till so you hear the I last mean. story. I should have put that first. Actually, let me get to the best. We don't want to save the best for last. Let's get right to it. Um, yeah, there's countless stories. Here we go. Let's see this one. Uh, let me click the link. Oh, here we go. Mm. This lady had the original. This is where I came upon um, this article here. And I'm not going to use her video because I don't want to take her work but she is the one who said about the um hair dye being his <laughs> here we go let's see this story here check this out let me go back to this orientation so he was on top of an 80 foot pole and i think he was arrested in two may 2015 mm. Let's see the video. I didn't watch the video yet. He wanted to display his upside down flag again. Look at his picture down here. Isn't that something? Now he looks like a different person. Look, he's got brown or black hair. He either dyes his hair. I'm not sure. Because his beard is the same color, but his hair is not. Hmm. Crisis actor, anybody? He definitely got an agenda. It's pretty questionable. Here he is on top of the, <laughs> in the top of some light pole with his flag. <laughs> Doesn't that remind you of something? And when I went to the site, he wasn't even on that tower. Was kind of oh, get out of here. Your articles. I mean, articles, advertisements. Oh, hell. They're going to. Hold on. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I can't have that on because they're going to claim that I have an ad on here and I'm not supposed to because I'm not monetized. Oh, I don't want to hear any more shit from YouTube. Just hurry up, ad. Come on. I don't want to sponsor. Okay, here we go. Wait. Good Lord. How much do I have to go through just to watch a video? Oh, my God. Or was that just a lie? Here, let's read this article. I don't know what the hell's going on. Okay, so this is May 14, 2015. A man who climbed an 80-foot light pole in Surprise, Arizona, was in police custody Thursday evening after a four-hour standoff. 
Surprise police fire department help remove Tucson resident Michael Lewis, Arthur Meyer. Fucking, jeez. Would you like to add a few more fucking names? I forgot one of them. Michael Lewis, Arthur Meyer. Huh. There's one missing. From the polls, use, <laughs> using a ladder truck. Said blah, blah, blah. All right, so it says a man stands atop a light pole with an upside down American flag at the Surprise Recreation Campus on Bullard Avenue, south of Bell, um, Thursday, May 14, 2015. Police continue to try to talk the man down. He really loves the limelight, doesn't he? Owen said Meyer, 36, climbed the light pole at Surprise Recreational Field, blah, blah, blah. About noon, the man stood on the platform near the top and could be seen holding an upside-down American flag. Meyer would not tell police why he climbed the pole, but made a few loose statements regarding veterans' rights and concern for the treatment of veterans as he stood atop the platform. He doesn't seem like a guy that really gives a shit about that. I mean, he seems to... He And you know what? When I was doing my research, um, it looks like media tried to, all the media have said they've tried to contact him for comments and he hasn't answered them. Isn't that odd? I don't understand that. I don't know what it means, but it's like he's given a chance, given a chance to talk, but chooses not to. Strange. And now supposedly found a child's skull, but they said it was an adult skull. I don't know, 20 miles, I guess in Marana, which is north of here. I don't know what this dude is doing. He's having fun. He's living the life. He's getting all those donations. And I don't know what he's doing. He's finding bones. He showed us a femur bone of a child, he said. And to me, it looked like a cut up steak bone. He's all, look, it was sawed off. Both ends were like sawed like they do in meat processing. Like, why would they saw the leg off? Come on. It's probably an animal bone or cow bone, you dumbass. Or dog's bone. I don't know. I don't trust this guy. After what I've seen here, don't let me finish reading this. Then I gotta end this video. I'll try to put the damn links. Let's see. Um, he finally agreed to get down after 4 p.m. He was aided by the police and fire officials. Officers handcuffs, handcuffed him once he was on the ground. Medical personnel examined him and found him to be psychotic. No, I'm just kidding. They didn't say that. And did not find any obvious <laughs> symptoms of a mental health condition. Meyer was booked into jail on suspicion of criminal trespassing and disorderly conduct and forgetting to dye his beard and mustache. Isn't that a shame? Oh my God. What the hell? Yeah, let's see what else. Let's see what else I've got here. Let's just see. Sorry for the orientation here. Not the sexual orientation, the orientation of the screen. <laughs> Let's see what else we've got on this weirdo here. Oh my goodness. Uh, what's this donation? Tyler, a homeless advocacy group is still going strong in Tucson. This after coming under fire. 2015 by again. Veterans on Patrol is a group trying to help homeless veterans, women, and others. He loves now, the media. Set up near Santa Rita Park, where it has been for more than a month, but under scrutiny. None of your side. Keen Thomas joins us with the latest. Keaton. Well, the issue's always been where can they be? Look at him now. He's doing the cooking. Notice how he's always doing like the key stuff when people are cleaning up. He's the one they're filming, and he's cleaning up. You know. I don't understand what this. What they're doing now. They're set up their own private property owned by an industrial company, letting them stay there right now. The group's leader says in the past five or six weeks, the city has generally left the veterans on patrol group alone, which is allowing them to have an impact in that area. And here's a look at what they did today. Bravo Base, set up near Santa Rita Park. Veterans on patrol provide resources to the homeless, especially veterans. There he is again. There's 100 people a day that we take care about on the streets. Lewis Arthur showed me around this camp on this day. Other local groups helped cook up burgers and hot dogs. Homeless. This includes beds for abused women. A first aid tent. Today, barbers use that. Such a hero. I'm happy to be able to help and pay it forward. Veterans on patrol also scour parks to pick up trash, including drug paraphernalia. This is stuff children could have found. Oh, this children, right? Get Americans doing something positive and get our warfighters in crisis a mission. They need a purpose. Yeah, if only he was for real, but he's not. He can't be. Oh my God, it just smells so bad. Stinks really bad. So not there every single day, <sighs> but eventually they will need to resolve this zoning problem with code enforcement on where they actually can be. Val Christina. All right, thank you. Well, he's gonna be evicted then. Hey, Val yeah, here's an article from May fourteenth. Okay, let's see. What about? What's, oh no, we already did that one. I think this is the last one. You know, there's more, but 
I just As we start in Mesa tonight where veterans are on patrol helping homeless vets on the streets. Again. NBC 15's Raquel Cervantes joins us now. When is this one? This group has a, a different approach to the problem that plagues so many of our Get heroes away. after they've served our country. This one's January 2016. Yeah, and we're here at their command base where they have those military style tents set up. The uh, co-founder tells me he acknowledges that some people want now he's to the co-founder people and veterans. They know that they can't end homelessness but they say that okay now if he pops up after this they say co-founder another news story that i played earlier said he is the founder people still hmm. need to be taken care of with giving them things like clothes, food, sleeping bags that they have here back at their tents. Now, this group, this organization started back in August in Tucson. This is their fourth location. And the goal is to have, they say, a camp set up in each Arizona city. And that is something like 90 cities. The co-founder oh tells God. me he's joined the homeless on the Co-founder. I thought he is the founder. Needs, what motivated so him. He says, Yeah, that actually, that them, first story said that he founded the whole thing it's a non-profit it says they don't get paid uh-huh but when you're a non-profit you do get money from the government to um even if you need it for supplies or whatever you can misuse that for whatever you want and a guy like him no doubt about it he's misusing it and all these donations don't send money oh i don't like the way this stinks guys Veterans commit suicide every day, and he wants to do something before it's too late. He has a lot of causes, doesn't he? There is a gaping hole in the, these communities. Yeah, in your head. Where everyone's slapping a support our troops sticker on their car, but no one's getting out on the ground to actually mm -hmm. support these families. Oh, what a hero. Now, with this huge American flag draped over the tent, it is... A, I wonder if he's actually really helping people. But the, the people here are not waiting for the homeless veterans to come to them. They're actually going out on the streets, offering them houses that they know where they are located. Now, we took action to post that information online at abc15.com and our mobile app. Like me, so Raquel said about this. On his, um, I think they were saying on the, um, his Facebook, I don't know if it's like his moderator or... I don't know who, but some chick on his page on the comments said, send good quality tents and all this. Like, I mean, I don't know. This is like maybe supporting his way of life. I don't know. Even if he was just like a regular homeless guy cheating everybody just to get attention. And I don't think this is the story, but it's a possibility, you know, and they're just living off all the donations because they're getting a lot of shit, getting food, supplies, tarps tents i mean you name it everything they're even talking about sending in like night vision just all kinds of shit and like i haven't heard him catch anybody <laughs> when those guys you know because the media works together with the cartels no doubt i'm sure they're all on the same side anyway i don't want to guess this just stinks don't you guys think it's really stinky so i'll let you guys have it it's all yours i'll i'll Try to, you know what? I won't put the links. I'll just put. Um, I made this list um, playlist. Um, I'll name it the Tucson whatever something or another. You'll find it easily enough. You can go click on all the videos yourself. Um, yeah, I don't know. You guys, let me know what you think. I'm just giving you this shit, and I don't like how I feel after looking at it. And this is only like half of what I found, but this is the best stuff. I mean, these news articles or news articles. These news little snippets here, they're one after another after another. He's really, really had, oh my God, I can't talk. He's really, really with the media, like totally he loves it. But yet it's funny he's not talking to them here except for the one time. It's very interesting. Anyway, have fun.